Welcome back to daytime. Check out those rides. We're back, of course, with Charles McGeegan. Thank you so much for continuing to join us. And this, of course, is all for Ride for Dad, right? Absolutely, yes. Great event going on this weekend. So if people want to get involved, who can, who can they get in touch with? Well, if they get in touch with our website of www.motorcycleridefordad.org, you can find the link there for Durham Chapter. And if you want to make a donation, we have a donation link there as well. Mm -hmm. right. So it's also good because people who don't necessarily want to go on a bike, I'm, I'm a little fearful, <laughs> we can still participate and donate, right? Absolutely. Uh, donations, that's the big key here. Also, as I said, when it comes to um, June 9th, in Port Perry in the afternoon. We will have the show and shine and you will be able to vote on what you think is the best looking bike there. Okay, well let's take a look at some of those bikes, shall we, Christian? You bet. Okay, so over here we have Nadine. Nadine, tell us a little bit about your bike. Well, I got it in 2009 as my first bike. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Riding ever since. You, you bet I am. <laughs> That's awesome. So any, any particulars about the color choice? Because I know with women, you know, we're, we're a little picky and choosy about what we ride, right? Very. Um, actually, <laughs> Being a firefighter, um, there's nice little flames etched in this little in the in the paint, and uh, it's original color. Uh, each year comes out with um, uh, a, a unique color for the for the bike. And being the R6 and the 2009 edition, the orange was the color for the year. That's always different, and me being a little different, I got an orange one. Hey Nadine, is this bike just a tiny bit smaller, or is it me? Is it a normal size? I don't, I don't even um, know. Well, me being a little vertical challenge, yeah. I had it <laughs> dropped. I had it okay. lowered a little bit so I could reach the it's ground. Great. There you go. Now I have to ask, being like a biker chick, if I can call you that, <laughs> is that like, is that the coolest thing ever? Is that, because I think, I mean, you're riding around and people probably think that's pretty cool, right? I get a hot, right? Well, I get a lot of thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> I get a lot of thumbs up and, and, uh, it could cause a couple accidents. Oh! Yeah. Oh. That's all right. Go. Investigative journalism here, okay? I'm just trying to figure it out. You know, I just tease with the jacket. You got the full gamut. So thank you so much for being here today, Nadine. You're very and welcome. over here, we've got Gord Andrus. How are things going over here? I, I noticed the color similarity, right? You're a lot taller. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. She's still taller. The, it's the heels. It's yeah. the heels. I'm sorry. What was that? I was just oh, asking okay. the, color, the color similarity between your two bikes. Uh, just uh, lucky, I guess. Orange is my favorite color. Found the bike. Uh, didn't even care if it ran. Bought it. Uh, <laughs> I've had it for about eight years now, and it's, uh, it's been a good toy. Right. Been a good toy. So you've been riding for eight years, or, or that's how long you've had the bike? I uh, bought my first bike in 1972. Oh, wow. Great. Gordon, i got to ask you, how long does it take you to keep this chrome looking that fine? <laughs> Are you kidding? I just pulled this out of the garage. It's filthy. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. There you Look go. At that. This has got bugs and everything else. No, if you're going to ride, it's going to be dirty. You clean right it, on. you clean it now and then right when it's something special. I'll clean it tomorrow for Saturday so it can get washed on the way up. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's a good ride. Um, it's well worth the aggravation because I'll tell you, sometimes it's hard to keep all the stuff in the gear and making sure that everybody gets what they need and what has to be done, but it's a, a worthy cause. Uh, I've lost four family and friends to cancer of different types, and... This is something that the uh, first cab does too, is a fundraiser along with a couple other military ones. So, but this is one of ours for here. And how cool is that, that that you get to, you know, you said right there, you've had victims in your family from this dreaded, awful disease, but you get to smile this day and be with buddies, yeah. and people who ride and have a great time, yeah. right? And there's a lot of good friends. There's right a lot on. of good friends. I've lot of, lot, met a lot of good people. Um, times are good. And you know what? You never know how long you got to go. So yeah, do what you, you want to do while you're doing day, it. Right? That's right. So that's that's the way we do it. Cycle mentality, right? No, you have to. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. There you go. Well, really we good. will wish you the best of luck when you're riding. Right, now we have to run over here, of course, and meet Dave Hubbard. How are you doing, Dave? Very well. How are how things are going? So I know you got the cool. This is like a Men in Black bike. It's like the silver going <laughs> on. So tell us a little bit about your ride. Well, the bike is a 0300th anniversary edition for Harley. Hog. Wow, Woo. there you yeah. go, hog, nice. And I've enjoyed it since. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it so much, I have no intention on changing it. Uh, okay, good. You know, I'm, I'm really pleased with this bike. It does wonders for me. Right on. It's my freedom machine. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And so are you going to be feeling that freedom this Saturday at the Ride for Dad? Not only my freedom, but my therapy. Mm -hmm. The bike has been my constant ther therapy since 05 when I had my surgery. Right on. So this bike is, uh, is very much a part of me now. I can't get rid of it. So when you're riding too, what kind of things do you think, <clears throat> honestly? What do you I said think? It was your therapy, like you're just chilled and relaxed. 
Well, it's it's yeah, it's the the freedom, it's the the relaxation. Uh, in in um, one of our yoga classes, they say try to go thoughtless. Yeah. So to clear your mind, and that's what I do. I just clear my mind and enjoy the bike and enjoy my life, Dave, my wow. new life. I'm picturing namaste. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's yeah. all about the well, balance. There's certain thrill with the speed as well. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we are going to let you clear out of here. Can we get you guys to hop on your bikes yeah. and ride on out? Why don't you head up to Port Perry right now? Get ready for Saturday, okay? We're going. Ride for Dad is happening this Saturday. Check it out. Go online. We'll have all the information on our website of how you can donate or get involved and volunteer. Okay. Lots more daytime coming up when we return. We're heading back in the studio. See you then.